morning, Bishop Bloomers. Please stand for prayer. On Sunday, the church will remember St. Teresa of Avila. St. Teresa, who was a 16th century Spanish saint, began to consider her vocation at a young age. As she grew, she became close with her cousin, who would draw Teresa away from the church and set her focus on more worldly desires. She shared with her father and brother her struggles with the world, and they decided to send her to a boarding school that was attached to a convent. Even though the transition was tough, she eventually set her sights back on God. After making the difficult decision to leave her family and become a nun, she would go on to reform the Carmelite order and became to write about the church. Her writings were so in-depth and spiritually profound that she was given the title of Doctor of the Church. Let us pray. In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, Amen. St. Teresa of Avila, God called you to religious life, but within that life he called you deeper into a profound life of mystical union with him. Please pray for us that we will come to know God with the same depth of knowledge you had, so that God can use us for the purpose to which he has called us. St. Teresa of Avila, pray for us. In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, Amen. Please face the flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. For lunch today, we'll be having regular or buffalo chicken sandwich, PB&J, mashed potatoes or peas, pineapple, apple, or raisins and milk. Happy birthday to Mrs. Carroll, Atticus Bell, and Allison Kramer who are celebrating their birthdays today. And over the weekend, Mrs. Kennedy and Gertie Anderson will be celebrating their birthdays. Happy birthday to you all. Our virtue of the week this week is hope, which gives us the strength to trust that God will give us the endless happiness of heaven and the means to obtain it, if we do what he requires of us. Do you have Lou or Spirit? Would you be interested in being Lou, our night mascot? If so, today is the last day to submit your application. Be sure to stop by and see Ms. Smith for more information. Latino Juniors and Seniors. The Latino Positive Pathway Career Exploration Event is October 25th. If you are interested in attending the conference, please see one of the counselors for a permission slip. There are only 20 spots available, so if you wish to attend, you must have your permission slips returned by next Tuesday, October 17th. Our next Key Club meeting will be Monday, October 16th at 3 p.m. in room 161. NHS members will have their next meeting on Wednesday, October 18th from 3 to 4. The Knights for Life will be praying at Planned Parenthood this Saturday from 12 to 1. If you want more information on this event, please see Mrs. Ish. Get ready for some spooktacular creativity. We are thrilled to announce our pumpkin decorating contest, where you can let your imagination run wild and turn ordinary pumpkins into work of art. Show off your decorating skills and you could win a fantastic prize. See Mrs. Allen for more details. Last week we got to know Miss Mercy. This week, and I got to know a new so teacher in the social studies department, Miss Narwald. Miss Narwald is in her first year of teaching at Bishop Lures. Here is Miss Narwald discussing some of her favorite things about Lures. Um, that's a great question. So I guess my favorite part about Lures would be I get to talk about religion and stuff in history. You know, I taught the student taught at a public school. So we didn't really get to integrate like the saints and stuff into history, or we didn't really get to talk about religion and history. So that's been really cool to like try to incorporate into my lessons. Um, I'd probably have to say, I'll say the students. I have a lot of students that are characters and I think they're awesome. So students and flexibility with my curriculum have been like my two top favorite. Um, my coworkers, the other teachers are awesome too. So those are probably my top three. It's game day, Lures, and today we're playing Homestead at Homestead for a chance of the sole ownership of the SAC. The theme is Pink Out. Be there or be square. That's all for today, Lures. I'm Paul Mendez. And I'm Aubrey Wigman. Praise, Praise God. God.